I think it's because of the whole storyline of how how I won the race. Big attack now from uh, Alison Jackson. Riding 110%, risking losing in order to win. Look at Jackson saying, come on, work, keep working. The first ever Canadian to have ever won any of the cycling monuments. After winning, you're married into this history. Jackson in the wheels, I think they're gonna stay away. This is absolutely incredible. Every time you come to the race, you can't just expect the same thing. We tackle this as a, a new race, but with that special fire that knowing that the way you played it was the magic needed to win this kind of race. Alison Jackson, the sprint starts, firing away for the finish. Is she gonna do it? She does! Alison Jackson wins Paris Relay Fama Big Swift. We get to the velodrome, however it ends up, like it's a battle, it's a fight, and we give it 110%. We're gonna put on a show. That's what the people want, is just hard by grazing. She said just focus on being in a good position, going on the cobblestones. Try to follow the best. We are uh, watching, watching Race TV, race TV. <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little wet. Tire pressure started off a little high, so we dropped it a bit. And also, it's actually quite warm, so we're doing a bit of outfit change. What do you think? Is it like when it's wet? Is it does it make a difference with safety if you go yeah, down? Of course, yeah. But yeah, it's so, not so like basically the lower the pressure, you always get better traction. On with these, with the liners, you can mm -hmm. for sure go much lower because what the liners do, they actually take up volume. Yeah. So when you press the tire in, the, yeah. the tire pressure actually ramps up quicker. Yeah. So that allows you to go that lower. So when yeah. you're hitting bump, but there's a liner inside there. There's yeah. also these also have the control tires or yeah, a thicker yeah. tire. Yeah. So puncturing, I'm not crazy concerned about. Okay. It's more about speed, comfort, control. Yeah. Um, speed on the yeah. tarmac versus speed on the cobbles. Think the 12 coming up in that 500 meters. I cried a little <laughs> on the last <laughs> coming into Roubaix. It's not even good memories, it's like being so grateful that I could win. <laughs> it just means this is the hardest part out of the way, race day. It's easy! Right. So for this race, basically the only thing we've done is change the tires. Victoria Corsa Pro Control, thicker Kevlar, um, better grip, uh, so stronger tire, but also a 32 millimeter instead of the uh, 28, just as a standard road. And then we put on basically some silicone padding and thicker bar tape. Normally we don't wrap up here. We normally keep that arrow, but for this race, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, some cushion. These bikes, these modern bikes, these spent these Cannondales have they're, they're just so robust and comfortable and fast that really there's not a whole lot we have to do anymore for these rough races. Today we're here with Alison Jackson's bike for Pyro Roubaix. We've got a new product of ceramic coating. Perfect for the Roubaix. So what this is is a coating that goes on the bike, creates a hydrophobic layer, uh, reduces the surface tension on the, on the paint and everything else that's going on. Stop dirt and grime adhering to it. So we can hopefully save some weight for the end of the race. If you were not a pro cyclist, what would your job be? Okay. Well, I do have my Bachelor of Business Economics and I worked as an accountant. But I also figured out that that is maybe not the job for me. So I think after cycling, cycling I wanted to be an economic teacher. I like bad weather, so I like classics. For me, I don't mind if it's bad weather at the race, because I used to do cyclocross in the past. And from there, I'm really used to mud, rain, cold circumstances. I can improve in the heat, but I still like do every year Giro, and it's fine. When I get in, tired in a bike race, I just keep going. I take a gel and I drink a bottle. And you get up and you keep going. Um. <laughs> Can I get the key? You forgot it again. 
Thanks, pal. <laughs> Close those blinds. Dark as death. This is also a nighttime routine. Okay, yeah. here we are. Going to bed. Good night. Say good night to the camera. Good night. <laughs> It started small, you know, for Bonham, but then uh, we kept on doing it and now we thought it was time to support uh, the women's races too. Yeah, some pink, matching to the dedication first tee. Uh, we'll hear this and we'll use it, of course, for the, the special Ellison Jackson logo we've made. What it's all about today, togetherness, it's about attitude, it's about that we also believe and we dare to challenge and today we fight, okay, like crazy and we keep doing it. Team on three, one, two, three, team! It's pretty cool to see all the little kids, the girls coming up and they're so excited to see Els and it's pretty special to be a part of that. I have the wind in the back so I think it's going to be a, a fast race. There's a lot of pressure I think for her, so uh, for us it's a bit the same, but uh, it would be nice if she had uh, some uh, great result. The outgoing winner tries her luck with an attack on the smooth bitumen before Sector 14. We have three kilometers to the next sector, we have three kilometers. Not working together in the front group. So we have to keep riding from behind and try to get back. Come on. It's easier. It's not over. You can win this. Come on, you can win this. You have to give everything to stay with the group. Everybody have pain. Come on, you can do it. that's unexpected uh, you control what you can and the rest of it you just have to adapt and, and try to make the best of it so. <laughs> race, TV. race TV whatever <laughs> if you like to stay alive a longer time race TV every day <laughs>